Slob defense, modern, quiet variation, 4, a 6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the slob defense. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and under control thanks to nf3. nf6 controls the e4 square, advances the knight toward the center, and strengthens the d5 pawn. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. a6 controls the b5 square and prepares a potential b5 pawn push. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. There is an easier way to transport a queen to safety than this. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. It's alright. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. This poses a threat to slay a queen. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. When the queen retreats, 
this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.